For feature story number one, they will be talking about senior year in review with COVID. With the school year coming close to the end, we want to take a chance to interview some graduating seniors of this year to recap how this difficult year has impacted them. How you doing, Jack? Absolutely fantastic. How are you doing, Sam? I'm doing all right. Thank you for uh, agreeing to do this interview with us today. Of course, of course. Uh, so I'm here to ask you about just how the whole transition with uh, going to distance learning last year to back to hybrid or staying distance, whatever you chose, now back to full time and how that's affected you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, initially at the start, I think that we were all excited to like get out of school for the two weeks and then right. not have to do anything. And I mean, last year was kind of a breeze, but I mean, this year really hit me like a freight train, actually having to do work at home yeah. uh, and take tests at home. It's especially in a Google Meet, it is for weird. Sure. It's so weird. would you say uh, your grades suffered at all during oh, all this? 100%. I've, uh, I've never came close to failing classes um, then uh, than I ever have. Right. And I didn't take incredibly tough classes. Right. No, I so has this, has this affected your mental health in any way? Uh, I don't want to get too personal, but yeah, it definitely has. I mean, COVID uh, and being in lockdown, especially like right. not seeing your friends has been very Do you think there was uh, anything else that should have been done to try and transition us more smoothly into what happened? Uh, I mean, I can't really, I don't think about in a place to say that. Uh, they tried their best. I mean, they're working with what they got. So, I mean, I think they did a well enough job. Alright, well, uh, thank you. How you doing, Aaron? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing all right. Thanks for uh, coming to this interview with me. We've been asking some people about uh, just this past year, year and a half, and how everything uh, going on with COVID has affected seniors. The uh, thing I want to ask you is, how has the whole transition from last year being, you know, regular, how things have always been, to going to full distance learning and the shock of going into the pandemic and everything? And, and just basically jumping in and out of that, going back to hybrid or distance, whatever you chose, and getting thrown back into full time. How has all that affected you? Well, I mean, I personally have been a bit frustrated by it. You know, I'm not speaking for everyone, of course, but I personally find it, you know, going home and then going back and going home for a full week and then going back for a full week or doing the hybrid, you know, over time it just, it kind of gets confusing. Sometimes I've forgotten when when they come to school, you know. But you know, it's just I don't I don't, I don't really I it that much. Would you say this has affected your grades in any way? No. Well, I wouldn't say it affected my grades, but I would say it affected the way I put effort into things. Like sometimes I used to I used to be have like I put solid effort into everything I do previously, but now it's kind of. And it's kind of a gold time. So would you say your lifestyle has changed with that then? My lifestyle? Yeah, I would say it's changed. I'd say I've become more, more self-reliant in a way. Like I've, you know, started doing more things on my own ever since COVID has happened and I'm not around as many people as I used to be. Wow. How you doing, Max? Thanks for uh, doing this interview with us today. Thanks for reminding me. So uh, about a year and a half ago, uh, we had to transition from, you know, normalcy to going to distance learning. And then in between that, we've had transitions back and forth from being back at school to hybrid to distance. And uh, now we're you know fully back. How has all this affected you academically? Academically, it's kind of been, I'm kind of like up and down. When we were full online, it was, it was kind of crappy because you really, I really wouldn't get my work done. I would push it off the last minute and I, I really wasn't doing good. In hybrid, I kind of I did a little better because I'm in person. I feel like when I'm in person, I feel like I physically do it. But then when online, that's when I feel like I get a little break. And then when I'm full in person, I feel like my grades are doing better because I'm actually. Uh, so then, my next question would be: Would you say your uh, grades have suffered at all because of this? Um, I'd say maybe a little bit. Um, just because, well, one, I'm a senior, so I'm not really trying, and two, um. I would say 
Just maybe a little bit, just because I'm kind of pushing up a little bit, but I'm trying my best right. on top. And I know uh, a lot of people have been having issues with mental health, with everything going on, you know, being inside a lot. Have you had, not anything personal, but have you had any mental issues or any uh, anything like that because of this? Um, uh, not, that, not that I know of, or not that I'm aware of. So. Well, that's good. Um, and then lastly, do you think you've gotten the full experience out of your senior year with everything going on, or does it feel like you missed out? It feels like I missed out on a few things. Um, like I know, like a bunch of, like I know the dance is being canceled, like uh, snowball and stuff like that. Um, I feel like that's taken away from the senior experience mostly, and not really being with your friends like half the year. Right. So I feel like that's taken away from it. Yeah. Well. Uh, thank you for doing this interview with us, Max. No I problem. appreciate it. Um, thank you. For the ad, they will be talking about a sponge that instantly cleans. Do you ever just hate doing the dishes? Man, I hate dishes. We'll have a product just for you. Out with the old, and in with the new. With the brand new Magic Sponge. The Magic Sponge uses magic to clean dishes in a snap. Now you don't have to waste all that time doing your dirty dishes. Thanks! What are you waiting for? Buy one today. Side effects may include sudden urge for cheese, lost appetite, diarrhea, and memory loss. For feature story number two, they will be talking about the first Japanese person to win the Golf Masters Tournament. With the weight of a nation on his shoulders, 29-year-old Hideki Matsuyama held on to win the 85th U.S. Masters in Augusta, Georgia on Sunday, making history as the first ever Japanese man to win a major. Matsuyama, who started the day with a four-shot lead over a quartet that included playing competitor Xander Shoffley and Masters debutante Will Zalatoris, carded Matsuyama grew emotional after becoming champion and told reporters he was thinking about his wife and young daughter in Japan on the day of... What do you think of this year's Masters? Uh, I don't know. Personally, I thought it was uh, maybe a little underwhelming compared to especially like 2019 um, with, you know, Tiger winning. Um, but so it was kind of, it seemed like Hideki kind of ran away with it, especially um, Saturday evening and then Sunday morning. Kind of looked like um, Hideki was going to win all the way. Um, thank God, Sal Torres, um, he was a rookie at this year's Masters, put up a good fight, you know, posted nine under. Um, kind of looked like there was maybe going to be a playoff kind of wish there was, um, but yeah, it was it was an interesting Masters. Uh, the course played well, so that was good. Um, last fall, it didn't really, it wasn't really as green or uh, played to the tournament conditions, so um, it, it was an interesting Masters. Maybe could have been a little better, but yeah, it was all right. What do you think about this year's Masters? I think it was very interesting. It's very nice having fans back at the Masters and actually being able to have it with the whole COVID thing going on. Uh, it was pretty cool having a different culture win it, Hideki Matsuyama from Japan. I think it's really important to get different people into the game and seeing people from around the world win. Did you watch the Masters? No. How do you think the first Japanese winner will change the culture of golf? Uh, I think personally the culture has been changing for quite a while. Uh, I, feel, I feel like this always comes back to Tiger Woods. Because, um, you know, Tiger Woods was, uh, he was part Asian, part black, you know, part everything. Uh, so I think he, his influence really helped um, spark a whole um, influence in Asia. So, like, if you see a lot of junior tournaments nowadays, there's a lot of Asian kids. And I think that's really changed from before Tiger. So I feel like this is, it's not really going to change a whole lot. I feel like it's already been kind of moving that way. I think we're going to see a lot more international golf. Um, as an outgrowth of the Tiger, I don't think this necessarily is going to like spark a whole lot. It could, especially in the Japanese Gulf. So um, I think it's good to see winners from all around the world. Uh, the more you know, peak golfers there are from around the world, the better golf we get. Uh, so yeah, I think it's just a, I think it's a good thing.
And it's a Masters for Matsuyama. First player from Japan to win this Masters tournament in the 85th plane. A country celebrates a dream realized. And what a moment for that man. Here are the birthdays for this week. For activities and athletic events, today, boys golf varsity is at Craigoon's Resort, 10.30 a.m. And baseball 9B and B is at Andover at 4.30 p.m. Tomorrow, Thursday, April 22nd, boys tennis middle school is at Northfield at 4 p.m. Baseball 7th and 8th at Owatonna, 4.15 p.m. Boys tennis JV and varsity is at Delano at 4.15 p.m. And baseball 9B is at St. Peter at 4.30 Girls Lacrosse, JV, and Varsity, home versus Rochester Mayo, 4.30 and 6 p.m. And Boys Lacrosse, Varsity, is at Minneapolis North at 7 p.m. For Friday, April 23rd, there's Girls Varsity Golf at Creek Spend at 1. Boys Varsity Golf at New Prague Golf at 1. Middle School Golf at Cleary Lake at 4. Track and Field at Mound West Tonka at 4. Baseball, C and B, home versus Delano at 4.30. Um, JV and varsity baseball at Delano at 4.30. And then all teams for softball, home versus Delano at 4.30. Monday, April 26th, there is boys varsity golf at Burroughs Golf at 1. Boys and girls golf, JV at Creek Spend at 4. Track and field at Delano at 4. Softball, 7th and 8th, home versus Jordan at 415. Boys, JV and varsity tennis, home versus Farmington at 415. Adapted, JV and varsity softball at Lakeville Century at 430. Baseball, 9, JV and varsity, home versus Northfield at 430 and 5. And boys, varsity lacrosse, home versus Mankato East at 630. Tuesday, April 27th is Girls Varsity Golf at Waconia at 2, Middle School Golf at Montgomery National at 4, Boys Middle School Tennis at Lakeville Century at 4, Baseball 7, Home versus Mankato East at 415, Baseball JV at Rosemount at 415, Softball Middle School at Mankato East at 415, Boys Tennis, Home versus Holy Family at 4.15. Baseball C at Mound West Tonka at 4.30. Baseball JV and Varsity, Home versus Mound West Tonka at 4.30. And Baseball 8th, Home versus Mankato East at 5.30. For PSA, they will be talking about limiting your screen time with devices. On average, you touch your cell phone 2,617 times a day. Being addicted to your cell phone can cause headaches, sleep disorders, and depression. Some helpful tips with addiction to cell phones is to set your phone aside for a day or don't charge your phone next to your bed. Congratulations to the students of the month.
Up next for the What's Up segment, we will be talking about prom for spring 2021. We're at the New Prague Flower Shop asking Janelle and Jen some questions about prom today. How has COVID affected the number of prom orders this year? It has affected prom orders this year because they only are allowing the seniors to go with one. And um, in years past, I probably had double the orders that I've had this year. However, I'm thrilled to death that I have the orders at all. So it's, it's still good, but it is down about half. Uh, what is your favorite about the prom season? Um, I love that I get to do a individual unique arrangement for every single person nobody has the same across the board and that's my favorite thing I love it that I can do separate corsages and separate presentation bouquets and they're all unique to match the pretty dresses is prom season profitable for you um, prom season is actually my second busiest season as far as sales are concerned but as far as my um, gross profit is concerned with prom, it's a little bit less because they are such um, individualized pieces. We have to spend more time on them and I have to bring more staff in to help because of the large number of kids coming in in one day. So the profits aren't as high, but my sales are high mm -hmm. and um, and it's still, it still is profitable, but just not quite as much as some of the other seasons. Mm -hmm. Any other things to say? Prom is my favorite time. The kids are the nicest. They are the easiest customers to work with. They're grateful. Um, and I just love seeing all the beautiful dresses and all the guys dressed up in their tuxedos. So honestly, it's my favorite holiday here at the floral shop. Okay, thank you. Hi, what's your name? Maxwell. You going to prom this year? Yeah. Have you been to prom before? No. Are you excited for prom this year? No, a little, a little bit excited. So yeah. Hi, what's your name? Carson. You going to prom this year? Yep. Are you excited? Yeah. Have you been to prom before? No. What's your name? Uh, Zach Tesh. Are you going to prom this year? No. Why not? Because it's expensive. Hi, what's your name? Taylor. Are you going to prom this year? Yes. Have you been to prom before? Nope. Are you excited to go this year? Not really. It's kind of expensive. The Green Team has a Community Earth Day project on Wednesday, April 21st out at Cedar Brook Garden Center at 1 p.m. to clean their butterfly garden. Sign up was at the April 14th meeting. See Mrs. Schambauer for more details. Seniors looking for scholarships. There are many scholarships opportunities available. Please email your guidance counselor for more details. College visits. All college rep visits will be held virtually using Google Meet. Please email T. Maria ISD to obtain a Google Meet link. On Thursday, April 22nd, 9.30 a.m., University of Minnesota, Duluth. Senior class of 2021, some graduation information. Our class motto is, today we follow, tomorrow we lead. Class colors, cardinal red and black, and class flower, white rose.